Hello my lovelies, today is going to be another shave video and today I have a somewhat unusual razor to show you and the razor I'm going to be working with is <clears throat> the Hilde that's the Hilde and it comes from a former Japanese company, Titan and this is an aluminium handle with a, a stainless steel, no not stainless steel, a chrome head and the head is similar to the Mule 89 and has a blade gap of 0.76 something like that but please refer to the picture at the end of the video to make sure because I'm not quite so sure so this is the Titan company and why did I say former Japanese because it's in Incheon which is now North Korea but this company exists since 1918 and then it still belonged to Japan. So this is, they have this in uh, various colours, they have them in all silver, all black um, with a silver round, with this gold round, uh, I think a blue one as well, I can't remember. Um, anyway, so the company Titan are actually known for their straight razors rather than for the DE razors however I thought I'd try out the DE razor because on YouTube you see quite a lot about the straight razors but you don't see the DE razors so <coughs> oh sorry I've got a frog in my throat so and to the end I'll be using the sterling Pharaoh's Dreamsicle. This is a sample I got from Mark Friendship Shaving. And I do like it a lot. It's it's very it's a different kind of scent, let's say it that way. It's unusual, but in a nice way, unusual. When I say different, I don't mean it in a horrible way. So I'm going to take quite a lot out. It's a soft soap. I'm going to put that into my blue scuttle here. Up. And smash it down a bit. Hang on, let's just. And this is a fabulous soap. Sterling is a very good company. And it performs extremely well, has a lovely slickness. And I think they have quite a lot of scent, um, different scents, sorry. What am I talking? Am I stammering? Let's get some bit of warm water. I'm feeling chilly today. It's not that chilly out, but I'm feeling a bit chilly today. Let's see if I can get some hot water. I'm sorry, this takes quite a little bit. So anyway, so I've now put that into here and I shall put half a teaspoon on top of that, which is two and a half mils, just to get it started blooming. Not that the crop or necessarily needs a lot of blooming, not like triple mil, but it does help everything on its way. So that's the Pharaoh's Dreamsicle from Sterling. Um, I'm sorry for the noise, but that's the only way I can keep this video a bit shorter. I'll be using the treat blade. And this is a three piece, so I'll load the treat blade in here now. Oh, 
Oh, this is a good one. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Somehow I got it stuck. There we go. So it's three piece um, with a scallop edge on both sides. And, and remember the treat blade is this very unusual black color, double wrapped. Here it is. And the last time I used it, it was in a very mild razor and it performed extremely well. So let's see how this works. Okay. What did I do with the handle? Ah, here it is. So I screw that back on. Okay, it does have an overhang on both sides, a little bit of an overhang. There you go, there you can see the blade. And as I said, this is quite a blade gap. Right, let's put that to the side. And the brush I'm using, I have been soaking, that's the Wilkinson's ball brush. The cheapy from the supermarket and I've been soaking it I don't know for quite a while because I got a phone call in between <clears throat> so I didn't actually I didn't actually time how long I've soaked it but a lot longer than I normally do let's say it that way around okay so let's get lathering let me adjust the camera like that let me get my scuttle so that I can hold it. There we go. And so I've squeezed out my brush. I'm shaking it out as well. There you go. And let's get lathering. If any of you have a particular site where they sell sterling or a lot of sterling soaps and I wouldn't mind if you would pass that on to me in the comment box because I find it quite difficult to get sterling soaps or I haven't seen anywhere that has more than maybe one or two selections in the UK I'm not talking about America because I don't want the import costs but here in the UK so that is why, as I said, I was lucky to get my hands on some sterling spice sample, as you know, I've used and, oh, what was the other one now? I've forgotten. I only have three. This Dreamsicle, Pharaoh's Dreamsicle. Spice and, oh, I can't remember. Why can't I remember? And that's probably because it's a scent out of the three that I least liked, out of the three I have. Okay, as you can see, it's, it lathers extremely well. I think um, it most probably would benefit more, put the other half teaspoon in, with of a brush with a bit more backbone than this. Because this has gone now quite soft, this brush. I've been using it quite a bit. Why am I doing this? Because I've got some soap in the bottom there. I can't get out. I think I will stop here because I've got most of the lather in the brush. So let me put that down so it can't fall. 
and adjust the camera. Let's get my hair out the way so I don't cut all my hair off again. Okay, let's get started. Let's see how this is. I've not used the Titan yet. Not tried it out. This is my first time. Let's get the mirror. This is quite a light soap. I think the spice still works best. I don't know, is there a difference in the base? I do not know. But this is certainly a different style scent. Here we go. Okay. Gives quite a bit of feedback. It works very well indeed. I didn't wet my face, did I? Oh God. This is a very close shave indeed for me. I don't normally use razors that are that sort of gap. But the blade is doing extremely well. The weight of this, even though it's aluminium, is led by the head. It feels very comfortable. It has a longer handle, as you can see. It feels super comfortable in the hand. Right. That was... Pass one. I think I'm going to keep this pass, these passes to a minimum because this is quite aggressive for me. But perfect for a beard of three plus days, depending on how coarse your beard is. Yeah, I don't know why this is not lathering as nicely as the spice. But having said that, the slickness is good. And the scent is nice too. It feels as if there's a bit of something cooling in there. It's a bit prickly, tingly. This is working extremely well. So where do you get this razor from? Well, I have seen it in the UK. Some online shops keep it. It's in the Prey Praise price range of about 30 pounds. Um, I have seen it on Amazon 
prior to Christmas, but I just checked before I came on if it's still on and I haven't seen them on Amazon right at this moment. They do have the straight razors, but not the DE razors. I'm just doing a mini pickup here. This is already super close. I'm not going to go around my mouth. I'm just going to do here. Um, Amazon US do have them and I have also seen that Amazon Canada have them as well. Um, in three colors. In this combo, in the silver combo, with the black and the silver combo with the blue. Soap has superb slickness, even though it didn't lather up super rich. Great slickness. So I am super happy with the blade performance as well as the razor. And I must say, this is BBS on a 0.7 and a little bit, I can't remember, head. Like I said, it's like the Mule 89. Um, yes feels very comfortable even when wet it doesn't slip you can hold it well and for me and for ladies in general the longer handle is of an advantage so that's my review I think the price is great and I'm super impressed yeah so that's the tight Titan <clears throat> Titan and this particular one is the Hilda. It has a number. I've put the num. I don't know if you can read this. Can you read this? By going close enough. Maybe you can. Um, so that's the Hilda, and like I say, it's like the Mule head. And it comes in a leather, well, fake leather pouch. And yes, it came with five blades as well. I can't remember what they put in. I think they put in, they were Gillette blades, but I can't remember which kind now because I took them out. So I'm super impressed by that. Let me just give my face another clean. That feels very nice and in the hand has a great weight to it even though the handle is aluminium shaves extremely well right let's get some aloe first and see how close this is how much it will sting i have no weepers no cuts, but it is close, super close. Oh, and I had loads of problems yesterday with my chin whiskers. <laughs> they were driving me crazy. Well, this looks nice. Looks a bit like an idiot, but who cares? That was the first I dropped. She uh <laughs> chaos in the morning already. Okay, this is not tingling, it just feels great. So no weepers, but super close. 
get that squeaking on my face, that means it is super, super close. Now let me just pick up that first bottle. Oh, my bones today don't want to work either. So, let's see. The sterling sample that I used, I only used one teaspoon. It didn't give me the creamiest lather, however, it's an effective lather. It worked very well. The scent is, I think, more on the floral side, um, not too cologne -y. It certainly smells very different to other scents that I've used. And to finish everything off, I think I'm going to use my Gentleman's Pride that's alcohol-free, aloe-based. And it's an aftershave, and aftershave balm and skin conditioner. I think I will need it after this close shave. The scent strength of Pharaoh's Dreamsicle is not very strong and it dissipates rather quick. Rather quickly, there we go. So that is why I can use this scent. It won't mingle because you can't smell the Dreamsicle anymore. It's not the strongest scent. So if you like strong scents, then the Dreamsicle is not for you. I think maybe that's why it's called Dreamsicle. Maybe? Could that be? I don't know. So that was my... Is it actually the last shave this in this year? It could be. Because I think Wednesday is already New Year, so that's the last shave of 2019. So have a good one and I will see you the new year. Bye bye my lovelies. Subscribe. Don't forget to ding the bell button. Give me a thumbs up and any comments put them down below. Bye bye.